Welcome back to Nickelodeon's Comic Corner Classic, last known classic. This is episode number 2560 and double episode number 2454. Now we got two uh, two manga that are, that are based upon American comic books. First one we have is Joker. One Operation Joker, Volume 1. The story of this one is that Batman turns into a baby and Joker has to raise him in hilarious fashion. Very interesting manga. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's another one. Uh, not really much else here, per se, though Batman's declared missing, but really interesting story. I give the book roughly 9 out of 10. Next, there was something interesting. We have Transformers, the manga. The Big Justice 1 is the Transformers have come to Japan to establish their, uh, the, the, the Japanese branch of the Autobot, of the Autobots. And the, uh, that's basically, it's like three different stories, this one. It's like three different volumes. This one we have. By the way, the book is written by Masumi Kutuya and Brandon Megumi. Um, and this manga here, which is published by DC Comics, this is written by Sagoshi K- uh, Sotogoshi and Magawa, and Kiski Gatu. Sorry for this mouse name. So we have three different volumes here. Basically, it's like it's like an omnibus book. Basically, combined in one we have fight. First super fight life born Transformers, which is only about eight chapters, and there is store the story of the super robot life forms, the Transformers. Then we have the Great Transformers War, and I got to show off this gorgeous artwork, which yeah, it seems like they basically based this on the show. So yeah, they they come to and basically the first two kind of you could you could easily set those in the first seasons of the show. The third one is set during the third season. One where we have Rodimus Prime. Then we have this, this evil robot that looks like Optimus, but really it's not. It's, it's Optimus Prime with a Decepticon logo, which is interesting. But we even have it with Rodimus Prime and Galvatron, but they're basically the feud and hiatus in order to deal with this one person. But this book was a lot of fun. I loved it. I give this book a 10 out of 10. And keep believe there's only two more volumes this one. Yeah, I, in case you're curious, though, uh, I picked that up from a Comic-Con a while ago, but it's been sitting on my, my, my stack for a while, and I figured, why not review it? But yeah, really fun book. Uh, though a little more expensive than basically the... Um, though this book uh, surprisingly cost $25, and it's published by Viz Media, which is interesting. Yep. But yeah, that's particularly a particular view. Uh, stay tuned for my next review for Metal Heroes. Okay, next review. Bye.